every week we have some topic which we use and the idea basically the goal is to help solopreneur to scale their business last week we had a topic of black friday and i will keep on changing the topics depending on the feedback so if you have any topic which is in your mind and if you want particular training about that i'll share may create presentation because this live is only for you it's nothing for me so feedback is very much important because that is how my journey got started I have been solopreneur almost whole of my life, and uh, only one solopreneur understands other solopreneur. Is neither their friends nor family. If they are not solopreneur, they don't understand you. And uh, I had a severe injury. I was bedridden, and when I recovered miraculously, I just wanted to devote my life for solopreneur's growth. And that's why I started blogging. I got lots of traction on my blogs, and then people started saying, "We love your blogs, but we don't have time to read. So you should start podcast and YouTube." So I started podcasting YouTube, and then people uh, started saying that, "Okay, you know, everything is really good. Means we we just love whatever you have, but we want a branding hub." So I started branding hub. Then people wanted really, really. means basically affordable e courses to scale their businesses and still they wanted support so i started doing that so my everything is evolving according to your feedback so if you tell me you like this if you don't like this accordingly i will change and i will create so last week we had a black friday but if someone wants again i can do that training again today we are talking about creating the webinar sequence using the chat gpt and if you go to create any kind of webinar sequence or funnel or whatever people charge hundreds and thousands of dollars i just want people to have all that training affordable and i, I want all that training for free and that's why all these lives are there so let's get started and see how we can create webinar sequence with the help of chat gpt so have you ever attended a webinar and left you felt uh, uninspired yeah we all been there and that's why chat gpt comes into the picture because it really takes the important bullet points and accordingly it will guide you what you should do and what you shouldn't do the you can always tweak and test your all the prompts you put your tone and you can always modify the prompts i'm just giving you the general idea but still chat gpt is important because it puts emphasis on the main things which are needed in creation of any things but later on you have to personalize so here most important thing like attention grabbing headlines and the uh, content and even all the interactive q and a sessions and all everything faq and all everything can be created just use up chat gpt and right now i'm just giving you the presentation but if you want google doc of all these prompts i will provide you for free whenever you want just let me know you can dm me or you can put comment and i will uh, make that um, doc available for free so first of all topic selection and topic selection this is actually this goes for anything this goes for your e course or if you are producing any digital product or physical product anything so chat gpt the prompt is suggest webinar topics those are relevant to my industry or my niche because you are expert in your niche so it is always better to go into that instead of going into totally different area which you are not familiar with and then uh, struggle there and spend time in learning you will be very natural where you are actually already working and where you have interest where your passion lies so what is the plan and suggestion over here so this is a really crucial step this is the first step where you determine the subject matter of your webinar to so select a topic relevant to your industry or niche or research trending topics and industry pain points and customer needs now if you are not sure about how to uh, decide your niche i have separate training just on niche because that itself is a vast topic and you can do market research you can do interviews you can do various things we can do polls and surveys and all so that's actually right now means that's not our topic over here but if you want more information on that training is available even for that so target audience identification because you have your niche identified you know what topic is going to be but 
you have to make sure that it is going to your ideal audience because otherwise it will be waste of their time and your time you want to add value to other people's lives and you have to provide what they want and if they are not ideal audience then basically they are not gaining any value from your presentation and it's uh, means basically you are not adding value so it is not a win win situation you feel really good when it is a win 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 situation everybody wins so defining your target audience involves understanding their demographics their interests their pain points because your role is to provide solution so your role it's really satisfied when you know their pain points and that's why I means basically i came across that okay so webinar funnels and all they cost thousands of dollars so why not to provide it for free so i realized that is the pain point because as a solopreneur you are working on shoestring budget you really don't have money to squander and you have to be very prudent with your investment so this will help you tailor your content to engage them effectively so tar target audience is very very important and for me it is really identified it is solopreneur because i have been a solopreneur so i can understand other solopreneur and because there are so many challenges a solopreneur faces and that's another topic because every point i talk about that itself is a half an hour one hour webinars keyword research for webinar content keyword research is so important it is seo but seo is not just website seo is everywhere seo is for your social media seo is for your blog every time whenever you are creating content seo is important and previously seo was only google but now seo is everything seo is bing seo is youtube SEO is TikTok. There are so many things. So the prompt over here is perform keyword research to identify relevant keywords for the webinar topics and keywords also. The keyword you should shouldn't be using same keyword again and again. You can have various versions of the same keyword and no keyword stuffing. It should be natural. Then SEO topic. It's another. It is a totally different area. so just wanted to give some bullet points that use seo tools to identify relevant keywords that are searched in your industry these keywords can guide your content creation and optimization so remember so search engine optimization means the keywords use them strategically naturally and seo is not just google there are so many other platforms on now yeah i forgot to mention tuk tuk goes but yeah there are so many platforms so just remember and you create your content accordingly you can have actually various services some services are free like answer the public you can have three searches per day for free and uh, they can they have actually even the strategy means if you want to search it on google well, what are the most frequently asked questions and uh, youtube and bing and many times actually even for pinterest when you go when you enter your keyword the top uh, whatever parameters are shown those are the highest search parameters so everywhere you just go and you just make sure that you are using those high volume low competition keywords no webinar title and description you got your keywords you got your niche so now tell chat gpt generate compelling titles and descriptions for my webinars because every time they say okay whatever you are creating hook is important because people are scrolling 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 and you have to have a hook that can scro uh, stop their scroll so that's why it means you have to get the compelling titles and descriptions because that's actually was hard for me because for me and i'm still working on it so for me means basically just get the bottom line and tell them this is what i'm doing and uh, i never could put any curiosity in it or uh, like fear of uh, homo that fear of missing out something and all those things all the psychological factors and uh, for me it was just straight to the point and go ahead and i wasn't actually paying attention to the prospects psychology so chat gpt prompts really taught me that so what is the plan and suggestions over here your title and description should be catchy informative seo friendly yeah the keywords we search they should be there even in the title the keywords are so important i'm talking about here mainly webinar 
but whatever content you created make sure that you are using your keywords strategically even for uh, image even for your video your h1 h2 h3 all kinds of uh, head uh, headlines even your description meta description everywhere just use them nat naturally and strategically use relevant keywords and make sure they accurately represent the webinar content yeah because means you have to stick to the point and that's why means i want to tell about so many things about seo and all but i'm just sticking to the point to the webinar because every topic is half an hour discussion at least or maybe even more now you are creating the content so what is the chat gpt prompt over here provide tips on creating engaging content for the webinar presentation so you yeah, are you have to have the engaging content and uh, for me this actually my uh, va created this presentation and she is really good at creating all these engaging contents and visuals and all and even chat gpt helps a lot so everything means content creation whatever the content may text wise but also visual wise so engaging content is a key to create compelling presentations that provide value to your audience yeah you can have a talking head video but it's always better to have a nice the presentation so that they read what is going on they they can read your uh, captions so because many times people are busy they might be at work but still they want to learn so their audio might be off and uh, still means if your captions are on and if your content is really vi visually appealing yeah so they can still learn so consider visual aids data and case studies those are really important so maybe the landing page design and that design is really important because again we talked about the visuals so visuals are really important right so what are the chat gpt prompts over here what elements should be included in a high converting webinar landing page so that is what you are asking generally for a landing page most important thing is uh, your image or video your catchy headline three bullet points of the benefits and um, just instructions where to go from here so what is the plan and suggestions a high converting landing page should include compelling headline engaging visuals a clear call to action and testimonials if available and there are many many actually uh, uh, sites i'm not covering them over here but uh, i have actually five trainings just on email marketing where i covered the landing page design and there are many sites they provide you free landing uh, pages so i'm i'm just actually providing all that information so that you can be prudent with your investment opt in form creation opt in is so important and especially in this uh, time and era it is so important because everyone is bombarded with so much of information and uh, i really feel means you should respect other people's privacy so generally i go for double opt in so that make sure that uh, whatever i am providing they really want it because uh, otherwise it will be waste of their time and waste of my time so here also for opt in chat gpt prompt is help me create an opt in form to collect registrants uh, for the webinar and every platform has different algorithm and method for example linkedin is different from instagram and is different from tiktok and facebook is totally different so we are not going into details of the platform specific but still there are lots of common things so which can be covered on these opt in forms and uh, so the plan and suggestions over here design an opt in form that collects essential information such as their names and emails and make it easy to complete and use as few fields as possible because we really don't want to confuse people when they come on to webinar registration it's very very simple and clear what they are going to learn in that webinar and what they should be doing next and uh, many times webinars are really short duration like half an hour and uh, many times people may have questions and the speaker may not be able to address all the questions so if all these fields are filled in so follow up emails can 
address all their questions. So email marketing setup. There are lots of things can be done on automation. So if you can do things on automation, it is going to free up your time. And also it makes sure that you are doing those things because as a human being, you may forget and oh, you may say, okay, I'll do it later. And uh, sometimes the letter might be after two days and the time sensitivity is gone. So email marketing setup Automation is really vital. It's better to be done that way. So what is the chat GPT prompt over here? So recommend email marketing tools and setup for promoting the webinar. And here again, I wanted to tell you there are lots of email platforms. They provide you free email marketing tools and setup, at least for one automation. Well, I know Aweber uh, does that. MailChimp does that. And every platform they have a different uh, quota and different setting for example uh, i think uh, convert kit uh, they allow you to add tags for a free account but they uh, don't allow you to do automation there are various platforms i'm using all in one platform system.io it's not perfect but it is the easiest and it serves the purpose but you know, if you want the best in the field of course you can do the research I used to have Infusionsoft, but that was very, very complicated. So oh, you do the research and I just wanted to tell you there are lots of free platforms available and most allow like 500 con contacts. So just look into that and if you have budget, sure, go for the paid one. And generally email marketing is not that expensive. So you can surely do that. So here we are telling ChatGPT to recommend all the email marketing tools and setup. And what is the plan here? The, you use email marketing tools to schedule reminders and promote your webinar. Yeah, reminders are so important. And uh, yeah, the tools like MailChimp and ConvertKit can be helpful. And also you can set up one automation for free in many, many, many platforms. So just do your due research. If you want more details about that, I have a list. I can always provide those resources to you that which platform provides uh, what kind of automation and uh, how many contacts and also I can provide that resource to you. Right now on top of my head, I don't remember because for example, MailChimp had like a 2000 contacts and now they uh, reduced to 500 and also the time sensitive data right now I don't have, but if you want the, that resource, I will make that available to you. Webinar registration page SEO. Eh? SEO comes everywhere. SEO comes everywhere. Search engine optimization. Yes. And uh, what is the prompt, prompt over here? You know, I'm just using chat GPT, but you can use it any other uh, AI. For example, I have uh, tested with the BARD. I also have Word Hero. I, I have tested many other platforms. I'm just using uh, chat GPT because many of the platforms, no, not bad, but many platforms where uh, uh, I tested, those are my paid accounts. I just want to give the resources which people can use for free. Right now, means of course, chat GPT also has a paid uh, version, but a free version also serves a lot of purpose. So here, that's why I'm using chat GPT prompts but you can use on many platforms. So optimize the registration page for search engines and user experience. Yes, user experience is so important because they, they need to enjoy, right? They are devoting half an hour of their life. So they must get value. Plan and suggestions. So optimize your registration page with relevant keywords here again. Keywords, yeah, means your main keyword and don't use the same keyword again and again. There are various versions of the same keyword and use them naturally and strategically. No, no keyword stuffing, okay? Compelling meta descriptions and fast loading times for better SEO and user experience. Fast loading is so important because if you have a big video on your uh, registration page and if the loading itself takes a lot of time nobody has that much of time they may just get bored and they will leave so even though they are interested in your webinar but they didn't register what is the use there are lots of video hosting oh, now for example this uh, video hosting is something called uh, 
domain servers where you can just use the YouTube link and still you can have a private uh, video. So video hosting is again, it is outside of this uh, scope today. I may have another training just on video hosting, but just make sure that your uh, registration page is really fast. Social media promotion plan. Social media, yeah, you don't own social media, but still it is free advertising platform. Why not to use it? Yeah, some social media actually means they have different, different algorithm. They don't like particular words. So you may go into jail for that particular social media. Again, it is outside of this today's scope, but it is a free platform. Why not to use it every possible way? Promote, promote your webinar. So we are telling ChatGPT that create a social media promotional plan for a webinar funnel. So ChatGPT will give you all the ideas about that. And plan and suggestions. Plan out a social media strategy to reach out your audience across various platforms. Use posts stories, ads to generate interest. Now, again, I have seen many people using ads and some people really burn their money by using ads and some people are making tons of money because of ads. But if you want to use ads, my experience is unless you have a proven strategy, proven sequence, proven funnel, don't go for ads. Because if it is proven, it is creating revenue if it is monetized already then you can go for ads and then you can have more traffic coming to the funnel more traffic coming to that sequence and then you can generate more money but if you are testing out ads might be a really bad strategy i have seen people using ads but some people they lost thousands and thousands of dollars so just be careful with ads i'm not I can say that uh, ad expert, so I cannot give you any suggestion. I'm just sharing my experience because I just want people to save their money. I don't want people to squander their money just like that. And posts and stories and all, every platform, it is different. For example, for, for LinkedIn, they say one post per day is more than enough. And then for Instagram, they say some sometimes like three to nine stories per day. So you choose your platform and you decide. Even for TikTok, they say uh, some people got very good results by posting three times uh, a day. And uh, some people, uh, they absolutely did not get any coverage uh, um, for their second and third uh, video. So you test, you decide what you can do consistently because whatever you do, it has to be consistent. Then only the algorithm knows you and then algorithm will push your content to your audience. So paid advertising strategy. So here, if you want to use ads, I'm just telling you ads up because I have been affiliate for many, many big programs and they worked out really, really good for me. And we used to have some training programs and other affiliates, they used to use ads and they really spend a lot of time and money and energy into that. I just was not willing to pay that much of money to that. So I never took that route for affiliate marketing. But if you have budget and if you're willing to do that, these are the prompts. Suggest paid advertising channels and strategies for promoting the webinar. Now regarding these channels and strategies, I studied ads, so many ads and some say Facebook ads are the best ads and some say YouTube ads are the best ads. Some say Pinterest ads are the most uh, effective and uh, they don't cost that much of money. Some say nothing is like Google ads. So I'm not going to tell you the, the, these ads are better or these ads are uh, not good. But you do your due diligence. You do the research if you want to go by that route. So consider using Google ads, Facebook ads, and other paid channels to reach a broader audience and ensure ad copy is optimized for conversions. And you know, regarding Facebook ad, my experience, if the if you don't know how to do ads and if you hire a freelancer and if they are not really experienced, you can easily go into Facebook jail. And uh, even if you're not going to Facebook jail, if they don't, know your audience properly 
you may end up getting really junk leaves and it is a total waste of your money so just be careful but if you want to go by that route just just find out and uh, pinterest ads many people actually told me that they work really good for uh, interior decoration and uh, or meal prep and those kind of ads but they are not really good for digital products so i'm just telling you other people's experiences so you do your due diligence and just wanted to tell you be careful with your ads because once it starts burning money you won't realize because many times actually they say only 20 dollar per day um, ads but hey at the end of the month 20 dollar per day is like 600 dollar per month yeah means if you have that much of budget and if you are willing to take risk go for it but in general i'm just telling you just be prudent with your ads so email sequences we talked about emails and email automation and various email platforms but email sequences are also needed for pre registration registration follow up so for various things so here we are giving prompts to chatpt that outline a series of emails to nurture and remind registrants about the upcoming webinar yeah it is really important if someone is really interested in your webinar they will appreciate your reminders because many times initially when i was setting up my emails and especially automation that was the thing in my mind whether i am bothering my uh, audience i don't want to wear my list and uh, all those questions so then i came up to the sweet point that okay i will send only those emails which i would like to receive now if i am interested in any particular webinar and if i want the host to remind me then why shouldn't i remind my audience about my webinar so this is all the law of karma you just give to your audience what you want to receive and that works out like a charm because because that is the essence of life right and you just enjoy when you are giving to other people what you want to receive and in spite of that if someone unsubscribes that's perfectly okay you know because uh, it's very clear that you are not adding value to their life and so it is not even good for your karma so every situation has to be win win and win win doesn't mean that they have to buy your product as far as you are adding value to their life it is a good karma so create an email sequence to remind and nurture your registrants and that's why i send actually one hour reminder about my life because people are busy nobody has time to and remember each and everything and they may not even put your reminder in their calendar but if you just send reminder one hour before the live oh, webinar actually there are more reminders needed because it is a longer one they would appreciate so send reminders send uh, sneak peeks and post webinar follow ups because if their questions are not answered the follow ups are very much important because uh, we just want to answer their questions and it is then it is totally their choice we just want to do our part and let them do their part so webinar slide designs so because the slides again the visuals they have to be appealing and nowadays you can create uh, even uh, all the images with ai i i tried at some places i tried in canva and in some other platforms and uh, means you can do even the text to image and there are many many platforms but here i'm just using the I mean, I, if you go to app sumo they will just list of all the platforms where you can uh, create visuals from text to visuals and they have so many and they have so many lifetime deals so you can just go and check out over there if you want to know more but here this is the basic chat gpt prompt provide design tips for creating visually appealing webinar slides and of course chat gpt will give you all the information but if you want to create uh, images from text yeah you can try canva and there are many many other platforms just make sure you have nice uh, visuals so what are the plans and suggestions over here design visually appealing slides 
use consistent branding, clear fonts, and high quality images. So whenever someone sees that particular color or those fonts, it should strike into their mind. Oh, okay, this is this company. Okay, okay, I know it. I know it. Live webinar hosting platforms. No, again, there are lots of platforms. For example, uh, I came across with webinar kit and I was almost going to get webinar kit because they had a lifetime deal for um, webinar hosting and uh, even you can create automated sequence and all those things. But then I went back and I asked my platform where all in one platform and that time I had a webinar plan with this and so I said, okay, can I host my webinar? Can I create sequence in system.io? And they said, of course, sure, you can create that. So before just going out and looking for a webinar hosting platform, whichever platform you are using right now, make sure they, they have that particular feature. If they don't have that feature, then you go and get from outside. Again, be prudent with your investment. So just make sure and uh, if you are going for the third party platform, yeah, you can uh, yeah, sync it directly or you can use Zapier or you can use IFTTT. IFTTT even free with free, it can provide lots of things. Even Zapier basic is free. So you can connect. So that's again out of this scope. But uh, here we are giving AI prompt that recommend platforms for hosting live webinars and their features. So choose a webinar hosting platform that suits your needs. So I'm actually using Zoom and uh, no, Zoom has uh, AI feature that is so amazing. And my VA actually takes care of uh, all that. And she told me that uh, Zoom uh, creates the chapters and that makes her very easy to repurpose the content she can create the snippets and then she puts it on instagram and tiktok and various places so there are lots of things so for me the zoom zoom is working out good some people really vouch for streamyard go to webinar webinar jam and all i have attended webinars from all the platforms i didn't have any problem attending webinar at any of these platforms but i'm just telling you this is uh, the zoom is the one which i am using and for automation, I'm using system.io. You, you do your uh, due diligence and see whatever works out the best. Yeah, again, I was mentioning about system.io. Um, when I'm talking about the free, they also have a free um, platform where you can uh, have your one automation, one workflow totally set. Everything can be done just for free. And once you have your one course or one digital product generating good revenue and monetizing, you can upgrade or you can go for other better platform. So I just wanted to tell you where you can get better resources at free, mostly free or really at the low price. Recording and repurposing. So what is the chat GPT prompt over here? Explain how to record webinars and repurpose the content with SEO benefits. I just know I mentioned Zoom. Zoom does a lot of things. They do actually cloud recording and they also transcribe uh, all these recordings. So even uh, I can get the um, transcription and show notes for my podcast. It has been working out really great for me. Some people say StreamYard is better than Zoom. But hey, means for me, this is working out good. You do your research and so record your webinars for future use because this is evergreen content. This is not the content you presented today and gone tomorrow because many times even now, I do search on YouTube. For example, we love to travel. So whenever I plan for travel, I go on YouTube and I search for that particular location. And sometimes a four or five year old video comes and tells me, okay, where to go and what to do and all. May not, it may not have all the relevant information, but the bullet points, yeah, they serve the purpose. So it is the evergreen content. Make sure you record and repurpose. Repurpose the content into blog posts, YouTube videos, podcasts, and additional SEO benefits. 
So I was mentioning about my podcast. I have a podcast called New Beginning Inspiration for All. And that I designed mainly to provide free resources for solopreneurs. So if someone comes as a guest on my podcast, I just make sure that that podcast is published all over on the podcasting major channels, YouTube, Dailymotion, Protoplay, so those platforms. Also my VA text that uh, episode, she creates a blog post. We publish it on our, our website. We publish it on various social media platform and we promote it to our uh, email list so that uh, someone comes as a guest on my podcast and make sure that they get high visibility because that is my uh, returns to them. And if you go for PR agencies or uh, media agency, they charge thousands of dollars for any kind of visibility. I just want to do it at the really minimal admin fee. But that was the main idea here. And uh, initially, I started podcast just as a solo episodes. But then I realized that uh, I'm not expert at everything. I don't know everything. And um, I want to add value to solopreneur's life. That's why I started inviting lots of guests on my podcast so that they can add value to solopreneur's lives. And that's why I have solo episodes, but I also have a guest podcast. And I also do podcast walk. So if you have a podcast walk, then basically we can do that uh, mutually beneficial for everyone. But if you have a compelling story of struggle and success, and if you can give hope to solopreneur to progress in their business, you are welcome to come on my podcast. Because many solopreneurs don't see second year in business. And those who see second year, they many of them don't see fifth year in the business. So this is my passion for solopreneurs to succeed in their business. So this is just one platform. We are using it for solopreneurs. So question and answer session plan. Webinars are generally half an hour to one hour. So there is some time for question and answer after the webinar. And the workshops are generally like four hours. So here we are telling ChatGPT to create a plan for conducting question and answers during the webinar. And uh, ChatGPT will give you, depending on your title and your niche, all those question and answer sessions. So plan question and answer sessions to engage your audience and be prepared to answer questions and encourage in, in, interaction. And uh, you might be thinking they are asking questions uh, the, what does it mean? Uh, does it mean they are objecting what you are presenting? No. See, they are asking questions. That means they want more information. Okay. That means they are interested. And uh, your role is to provide information. Then it is totally up to them. Then respect them. Whatever decision they take, just respect them and move on. But the question and answer session is very, very much important. Because many times the questions are coming because they have limitations. For example, if someone comes and asks, okay, this course you are presenting, how much time does it take? So they might be really time constrained or they might have taken some, um, registered for some course and they haven't finished the course. So they might be thinking, oh, this is going to be a long course, another long course. I may not have time to finish it. So what is the point? So you really don't know what they are going through. Your role is just to provide information. And whether they are interested or not, it is uh, means basically they are going to decide. It's not in your hands. Post-webinar engagement strategy. So here the prompts are suggest strategies to engage attending after the webinar ends. Yeah, so... Various platforms give different things. For example, Zoom, there is a chat available. And I'm just talking about Zoom because most of the uh, webinars I attend are on Zoom or even what I deliver is mostly on Zoom. But uh, many other platforms, they have various strategies. So engage with attendees after the webinar, share resources, post discussions, gather feedback. Feedback is very, very important because... You want to add value and that's how my whole business is evolved. People just kept on telling me they want this, they don't want that. And that is how I designed my each and every product and service 
just depending on the feedback. So feedback is very important. I am all for feedback. If you don't like in even today's webinar, please tell me so that I will improve. Otherwise, I don't want to keep on delivering these uh, mistakes again and again. I want to improve and I want to become. So my next webinar should be better than today's, right? Webinar follow-up emails. So here the prompt is, help me draft follow-up emails for post-webinar communication. So the plan and suggestions, create post-webinar follow-up emails to maintain engagement and share additional resources. We covered actually a lot about emails before. So actually I just went fast. But uh, if you have any question, don't hesitate to DM me, okay? Set up analytics. So your uh, webinar analytics because you want to know the numbers, what worked, what didn't work. Set up analytics to track the performance of the webinar sequence or webinar funnel. It is very much important. And I attended many webinars, webinars delivered by multi-multi-millionaires. And they told me that uh, they sold zero zip in their first webinar. And still they became multi-millionaire later on. So how they did? Because they checked their numbers, they found out what worked, what didn't work. So use tools like Google Analytics uh, and uh, webinar specific platforms to track register and uh, attendee behavior and conversion rate. So what are the chat GPT prompts for feedback collection? Feedback you can collect at uh, various places. So recommend methods for collecting feedback from webinar attendees. Plan and suggestions. What are here over here, plan and suggestions? Gather feedback to improve future webinars. That is what I was telling. I want to improve my next time. Use surveys, post webinar discussions, polls, email feedback form. There are, there are various ways. And uh, many times people, when they do in-person webinar, they just give a uh, paper copy. But in virtual, of course, you can use a digital copy and uh, collect feedback. And uh, yeah, I means basically it is uh, beneficial for attendees and even for you because attendees, so, uh, they are interested in your information. So next time you will <laughs> deliver a better webinar. Testimonials and reviews. Every person in your audience is not going to relate to you because they may have different background, different challenges. But when you provide testimonials, reviews and social proofs, they will find someone to relate to and then they can decide whether they want or not. And or they can think, oh, it's work for them, then it might work for uh, yeah, your audience too. So here the chat GPT prompt is, Guide me on requesting and using testimonials and reviews from webinar participants. What is the plan over here? Ask attendees for testimonials and reviews to build social proof and attract more participants. And I saw, actually I'm part of many, many memberships and many times we have meetings going on. And when someone says something good about the membership, Owner and the host immediately ask, okay, now you are telling me this is, uh, you got a good experience. So can I use that as, an, uh, as a testimonial and put it on my website? So yeah, every time the person who is giving positive testimonial, they say, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You can put it on your website. So that is very, very important. So social proof, reviews, testimonials, they are very important. And uh, so... Even though means any feedback, negative feedback, it's not bad because that is the only way to improve. Webinar replay page SEO. No, again, regarding webinar replay, there are mixed yeah, feedbacks because some people say webinar replay is the best thing so that someone who couldn't attend your webinar, they can come back and go through the webinar. Some people say webinar replays are a waste of time People never uh, uh, replay your webinar. So I don't know. You decide. It is up to you. Some people provide those replays and they charge uh, for that. It's totally up to you. It's your life, your business. You decide. I'm just telling you all these things are possible. You decide what you want.
But here is the prompt. Optimize the webinar replay page for search engine. Yeah, because you are creating evergreen content. So your search engine should find whatever content you have created. That's for sure. Optimize your webinar replay page just like the registration page. Because again, here the SEO is important and you want even uh, search engine to find your replay and someone who is looking in that particular topic somewhere sometime in future, they should find that. Ensure it's easily accessible and searchable. So content upgrades. So what are the upgrades? Many times you give the basic offer. Sometimes people want more support and people are willing to pay for more support. For example, I have a SEO course and that is DIY SEO course. But sometimes people really don't have time to do SEO by themselves. So I provide DFI and done for you SEO also. And it is at a very, very, very low cost. So that option is available if someone wants. But if you don't want, that's also perfectly fine. So here, suggest content upgrades to offer during the webinar for lead generation. So here, we are just giving that one particular example. Offer valuable content upgrades because the content upgrades should be of more value so that if they want, they can take it during the webinar in exchange of for attendee information to generate leads. So this is one lead generation strategy you can use. And there are various content upgrades. For example, I have a content uh, that is the lifetime content creation for social media. And uh, I offer it only for $27. And, but many of my freebies, that option is available. So lifetime, you never have to worry about the content creation. And many people actually, they just go for it. They love it. But hey, not everybody wants it. So that's perfectly fine. Affiliate marketing strategy. So here the prompt is, how can I implement affiliate marketing to promote the webinar? Many times you may not have budget for ads, but affiliate marketing is effective because if you have affiliates, they are promoting your webinar. You are going to pay them their commission after they generate a, basically a prospect for you. So it is a win-win-win situation because they are approaching someone who is not in your uh, contact list, who is not a part of your audience. So it's part of their audience. So they are informing their ad audience about uh, your webinar. And when they become your uh, paid client, you are giving part, whatever part. Uh, the range is from like... Uh, 10% to 60% uh, commission, depending on your offer. So you can decide it's your business, you decide. I give 50%, but uh, if it is a really high ticket offer, people give 10%. So you decide. But affiliate marketing and having affiliates for a, your webinar is a really good strategy and you save money, a lot of money on ads. You can borrow other people's audiences. It is a win-win-win situation. So here implement an affiliate program where others promote your webinar for a commission. Use tracking software to manage affiliates. And for me, again, means many people use uh, Thrive Card, Sam Card, various programs for affiliate tracking. I use uh, uh, system.io. They have affiliate program that works out perfectly well. Whoever uh, actually becomes a part of my contact list becomes my affiliate. They can promote any of my products or services for 50% commission because I consider they are my partners. So that is what I do. Your business, you decide. Webinar promotion timeline. So what is the prompt over here? Create a timeline for promoting the webinar, including pre-webinar, post-webinar activities. So here, uh, I means it is like a webinar is again like a, a launch or beta launch. So there is a strategy that uh, sometimes uh, when you are really close to webinar time, you uh, send uh, more promotional emails or you post more on uh, social media. But there is a strategy and uh, chat GPT will give you what strategy you should use. So create a detailed timeline that includes pre-webinar, post-webinar activities, promote schedules and follow-up plans. So what is the webinar funnel automation? ChatGPT prompt here is set up automation for various stages of webinar funnel. 
And automation means basically pre-webinar initially means if you want to in, start informing like a week or two in advance. Yeah, you don't have to send emails every day. Maybe like uh, once or twice a week is fine. But if webinar comes close, maybe uh, you can send even two emails per day. And uh, on the day of your webinar, you can send like uh, maybe a couple of emails on that particular day itself to remind about your webinar. And I talked about the psychology of sending emails before, so I'm not going to talk about that again. The suggestion over here is automate process like email reminders, follow-ups, lead nurturing to streamline the funnel. Social proof, we covered that part of uh, testimonials and reviews. But here you can have a separate strategy over here. Chat GPT prompt over here is recommend ways to integrate social proof elements into webinar funnel. And uh, you can have uh, yeah, various platforms and you can see from you can put the screenshots over there on your webinar registration or even the post webinar page. Include social proof elements like attendee numbers, testimonials, success stories. Yeah, to build that is trust because no like trust factor is very much important. And here again, the numbers are very, some people say that uh, people need to see you like nine times before they take any action. And, but I heard on one webinar that people need to see 22 times before they buy something from you. These numbers are different. Hey, but I came, came up with one conclusion that it is more than one. It is a multiple time they should know about you before they get something from you. Webinar FAQ section. FAQ section is very important because that actually addresses many of the common objections. So here, prompt is create a FAQ section for the webinar funnel to address common questions. So here, all the common questions and objections will be answered. So it is a time saver for your audience and even for you because uh, all the basic questions will be answered. In spite of that, some people may have some extra questions you can always answer or you can answer them in the follow-up email. So create an FAQ section to address common questions and concerns and reducing attendee hesitations because there is a hesitation because anytime new offer is introduced, it is something new, right? And fear of unknown is always there. So there is a hesitation, of course. Webinar replay editing. So webinar prompt over here, provide tips for editing webinar replays to improve content quality. If you have VA, yeah, your VA will do great job. My VA does really amazing job. I'm really happy the way she edits. She's really specialized in that. But if you want to edit, there are various platforms which you can use uh, to edit your uh, videos, audios. Uh, Audacity is there, Canva is there, uh, Adobe. There are many, many platforms. I won't go into that. ChatGPT will tell you, and edit webinar replace to improve content quality, remove any unnecessarily content and errors, errors and all that. I heard even the descript uh, removes your ums and ahs just by correcting your text. There are various platforms. Go for it. Conversion rate optimization. So here prompt is suggest strategies for optimizing the webinar funnel for higher conversion rates yeah you have to have higher conversion rate right otherwise it is a that is why you are in the business so continuously optimize your funnel for higher conversion rates and a b testing elements to see what works what doesn't work yeah for everything there is a b testing they always say okay uh for each platform when to post then you to get the highest engagement for pinterest they say you post uh, pin midnight, that's the best one for TikTok, they say. Uh, 3 p.m. your time, LinkedIn, they say 9 a.m. There are various, various platforms. Chat, G, uh, Chat GPT will tell you where you can get the highest conversion rates. So webinar or funnel reporting. So how can I create reports to measure the success of my webinar funnel? So Chat GPT will tell you, and our suggestion is use analytics to create a report Reports measuring the success of your funnel, including registration rates, attendance rates, and conversion rates. Yeah, the conversion rates, 
and they vary okay for example for email they say conversion rate even is 1 2% it is really great for webinar yeah i heard even up to 30% conversion rate but you track your numbers and of course make sure the numbers are increasing every time you are presenting the webinar so this is the general guideline about the prompts and you can improve your webinars if someone wants the document I will provide all the documents and resources. Just DM me. I will provide everything. And we are already actually way uh, um, over time. But still, if you have any question, please DM me. And that's why actually I request everyone to put their question before the live starts so that I can address everybody's questions because I may not be able to answer everybody's questions right now. But uh, your question will be answered. Please DM me or contact me every possible way. And we have a freebie, freebie which you can get from my website, Automate Your Beats, because that is what everybody wants, right? We, you want to free up your time. That is the most important thing. Means money you can uh, make again, but the time which is gone, you are not going to make it again. So that's why the funnels and the sequence and automation is so important. So we have a freebie that is Automate Your Beats and... Uh, you can request and I can uh, make it available to you. And we also have a, a special master class and program and e-course, small list convert big because many times a new business owner, they start with a really, really small list. And still I want to show you how it can be beneficial to have a small list so that you can engage with everyone and you can give personal attention to everyone. It is to your benefit. And still you can convert big because you can borrow other people's audiences. You can do joint venture. You can do an affiliate program. And that's why we have a joint venture group in um, on Facebook and also LinkedIn. You can join any of those groups and make sure to inform people about your offers and what you want and what kind of help you are looking for. Because unless you tell what you do and what kind of help you want, we cannot help you. And uh, most of the groups, they don't allow self-promotion. Our group is exactly opposite. We tell you to self-promote because, you know, unless you promote yourself, we won't know <laughs> what you want and what you do. So I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. This content will be available on various podcasting channels and YouTube and we'll also create a blog. We put it on the social media, also on our website. So any help, any kind of resources, any kind of free resources you want, you can always contact me. And that is my whole passion and goal to help other solopreneurs succeed in their business. Thank you. Mm -hmm.